Sisters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, the 11th of July. Now, this is fascinating. Look, here's this one, like the pattern that I call the Eiffel Tower. There's economic news and the price looking right at the 200 period moving average in the five minute chart. The e mini just goes swoosh, it goes from the 50, 57, uh, 77 level and it goes screaming up into the 57, oh, uh, I think, what was that, oh, six or something like that. So it goes screaming up to the, uh, in a single move up, and then it comes back down. This is the pattern I call the Eiffel Tower, because it looks like the Eiffel Tower it goes straight up and straight down. But what's really important about this pattern, if it comes back 100%, that's really negative. If it comes back about seven eighths, I'm talking about metric. Yeah, just if it comes back about seven eighths, and then tries to bounce, that's usually a good sign. Well, look at the five minute chart above that low that was made and above the 200 period moving average. We've got a peak A, peak B, peak C, and peak D. But it hasn't even gone. It's gone maybe halfway into the big wick that was that that candle that was from 8:30 all the way to 8:40. Uh, what was that? 8:45. 8.35, and it's a five-minute chart. So look at this. Um, it, it suddenly pulls back, and now it's stalling. So the day, the one-minute chart is at peak D. Five-minute chart is in a leg D, but under the previous one, even though it's a buy mode because it's gone to a D. And the 10-minute the chart is in leg B. Now the question is, like yesterday, are we able to see a two-click session possible? Well, um, at this point, what you do is you say, if you're all long, let's just say you're long from uh, the pullback here, uh, you use the one-minute chart and uh, the, the green nine-period moving average was holding steadily, so you went long. All you can do is put in a stop. This is not one of those days because it's a really volatile session having such a spectacular move yesterday, and now you've got this rotation going on. This rotation I'll talk about in a moment, but I just want you to explain that all you do – you're not the market. You use your technical tools to guide you. That's the most important thing. So what you do is you put in your stop, and you allow the price to run. The nine, the five-minute chart has got uh, is way over the nine-period moving average. The nine is over the fourteen. That's good. The same thing uh, has applied to uh, the ten-minute chart. And then you just have to sit there and wait. If you're taking out, you're taking out. But this is one of those cases where there's a possibility, and I'm just saying a possibility that if you got in correctly, you could just put it in and then just go about your business, put in a stop at any point you think is something that you're not prepared to, maybe a break even or a little bit of a gain, and just leave it. My suspicion is there are a lot of vicissitudes here in the market. There are a lot of – this is not your – normal market right now we've changed there's a phase going on that says there's a good chance that the dow which is the u.s economy is going to start to struggle a little bit and that some of the very overbought sectors are going to take a breather because money is going to find a new home i am i that's that for my subscribers to my opening call that's the way we've positioned ourselves and we'll see if that's going to be the case that there's a rotation going on and the rotation is going into areas like, and I'll do this now quickly. So we've got, let me just do this. The Dow uh, is extended the uh, pre previous high from yesterday. <clears throat> Hasn't gone to the 40,077 all-time high on the 20th of May. But it's a nice breakout of the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. The 9 is over the 14. The MACD is good. The rental strength is good. The stochastic's okay at 79%. I'd prefer if it was at 85%. And the unbalanced volume has pulled back. So that just says to me, the Dow is moving up, but I think it's still stuck in the rectangle formation. Good action, but stuck. The, the um, S&P, now I want you to talk about this particular pattern. So I've, I've drawn this in. I've had this in for quite a while. I had it in light gray, and then I, I, I 
increase the coloration so that you could be it became a little bit more important it wasn't very important earlier in the year when we were down the 4900s and then all of a sudden it became quite important and here's this trend line look at this I, I just need to do something if you don't mind I want to take a second to look at the futures because I think this is the rotation I'm talking about yeah peak D in the one minute chart leg D maybe a peak D in the five minute chart Oh, yeah, so we could pull back. And what I had said earlier in the uh, den was that the 200-period um, moving average in the in the five-minute chart at 56.78, I think I said it was, is going to be your key. Well, it's a rising trend line. And now that trend line in the one-minute chart is 56.87. And I had said 56.78 in the five-minute chart. Now that is a little bit higher at 56.80. That's it for this morning. That's the level to watch. A break under that level says, uh-oh, rotation going on. Now you've got to be even more selective. So I would have I would have had a short. I can't do that right now. So I'm just going to say, let's, let's go on. So from the low of 666.79 on the 20th, uh, this is the monthly chart. This is the 20th. This is 2020. So 2009, that's March. That was the 9th of March, as I recall, because on the 6th of March, at the very low of the Dow, we bought the diamonds. You know, I try my best always to be able to buy the the, the lows, and and we we're still long from right here in the in the latest iteration of the buy mode. It was in the uh, both the March 2020 and the October 2022 lows. Um, so what we're looking at here is that that low became a trend line, and I have it as a two, uh, two, there it is, two trend lines. It's it's two parallel lines, pink at the bottom, green at the top, because if you take the top, that's important. And I took it from that level, and I wanted to see, quite a while ago, I wanted to see, did it, what would happen if it hit the highs that were made back in uh, January of 2022, if it continued, and it just, I, you know, these trend lines, when they're like that, it just looks so crazy. I mean, why are you drawing a trend line? Well, back back in the old ages, uh, when I used to hand chart and use a ruler, and then I had to get this big 15-inch ruler um, for my the pages from that I glued together for my engineering paper, for my hand charted uh, Dow, FTSE, Nike, uh, Nikkei, I'm sorry, Nikkei. And um, yeah, so what happened was I found that trend lines continue sometimes and you forget about them. And then one day they come back again. So here it is. It's back again. And where is it? Right here. Let me now. So let me, let me say that that hit exactly uh, the highs that were making be made back in December and January of 2021 uh, to 2022. And here we are. We're testing it right now. So let me let me roll this over. Here we go. Here we go. Watch it get closer and closer. Look at that. There it hits for two bars. December and January of 21 and 2022 at a 48.18 level. And here we are. We just snuck fractionally above it. And as, we st as we're talking right now, we've got the S&P monthly chart. And the monthly isn't even halfway in. We're only on the 11th day of July, we've gone right to the green line. Um, if you look at the SPY, I didn't draw this in for the S&P, it was getting a little bit too busy, but I can do that for the SPY, the ETF trading vehicle. Look, we're right in now. I normally would change the color. I'll do that during the break. So we've got the Dow up 148, the S&P is down five, and the IWM is up 6.19. Wow. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Yeah, that's the thing about this show. I during this hour, you know, I find that the, the, the most incredible trading is between 6.30 in the morning. It could be earlier than that, but now 6 o'clock, let's say, and 10.20. And we're coming up to 10, another two minutes, we get 10, 20. And look at that beautiful turnaround in the peak D, in the one-minute chart, peak D, in the five-minute chart. I said underneath the previous high, you got to be careful. And he has almost a one-to-one. -one, and here we're going straight to the 50, uh, 56. Uh, we've broken the 56.80, five-minute support. And now the 200-period moving average over 56.69. Um, I think this is going to be a significant day. And there are a couple of reasons why I'm saying that. Um, if money is coming out of the market, where is it going to go? Is the only question that I've had. So let me go through this one at a time. A uh, question came in the Dan Duncan Steve. I don't think he's there right now. I'll be back a little later. But he, he said, uh, Basil, can you check SMH and SOXS? That's the three times short, the semis. I'll go and see your reply via playback later. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, I'm not a sir, but uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you anyway. I think this is going to turn to a peak E at uh, 283.07, the high today. It's a leg D in the weekly chart. This is the SMH, the Van X uh, semiconductors. It doesn't mean to say, oh, my God, this is it. Now they're going to go from the 280s down to the 240s. Oh, it could do that. But I think this is where money starts to come off. And the only reason it will come off is if another sector or sectors start to take the mantle, take the baton. I was a, I was a... A sprinter, so I know all about the relay races. I was the end runner, the, the last one, because I was the fastest. And I know about handing over the baton. You practice, you practice. The times that the United States has lost the, in the Olympics, the uh, relay race, men's relay race, I think even the women's, because they had not practiced or they didn't get that passing the baton, they dropped the baton. is just, ugh, drives me nuts. Anyway. 
back to our story. And that just says that there's no reason why. I had a, a question from a subscriber this morning saying, all these peak Ds and Es, should, should, I, should, should we take off a little bit? And I said, as part of money management, yes, the 914s are still good. But as part of money management, take something off because we've added to other areas. And that's really important. So here we go. Semiconductors. This is still an all-time high. I have to wait for tomorrow to even see if it's a peak. My suggestion is, in the semiconductors, look at NVIDIA, a fantastic company, um, trading right now down three at 131, not taking out the 140.76 high of the 20th of June. And technically, I couldn't put a down arrow, even though it's been all this time, uh, you know, three, three weeks or more. And yet the technicals, the, the 914 held, but the other technicals were failing. This says to me that if NVIDIA starts to trade any time between today, Thursday, and Tuesday of next week below 125, that's a big problem. Then it's probably going to take out the low that was made around about the 24th of um, last month. Okay, and that'll be very important. Uh, so let's look at GE. I like to put the two together because I get calls about, I get an email always about NVIDIA is uh, 900,000 times uh, uh, PE, uh, whatever, 60 times. Um, they different things. You buy them for different reasons. You're not going to buy NVIDIA that goes from in, in the last uh, year, uh, just in 2024, goes from 40 to 100, 140. Come on. It's the price that counts. A GE is a different thing altogether. So GE was the hint for me that it was starting to fail. It hasn't failed yet. I'm watching it really closely. It's had a spectacular move. This in, in 2024 alone, it's gone from 100 to 100 and uh, the 160s, 168. So look at this. It's starting to stall. And that's really what I'm looking at. So, yes, I think the semiconductors, the money's going to start to come out. Now, I didn't have the courage this morning. I thought, oh, man, look at this. There's an alternate count here in the uh, – this is a G slash C, an alternate count in the SOX index. I said, I don't want to get too carried away here and start looking at shorts, even though my whole – everything about what I was looking at said, there's a chance that we're going to make some kind of a top – in some of the sectors this week, I still don't know if we're going to. That was my thinking. Come on, let me just get this there. I have to get rid of that and put this as a G slash C. And maybe right now we're making a D. So the question, uh, Steve in the den, yes, I think that you could look at the SOXS. But remember, you've, it's three times short. It's, if anything, just treat it as a trade and put in a stop that you're comfortable with. It's trading at 18.95 right now. It made a low this morning of 17.73. That's a point lower. Uh, yep, that's a point. That's that's a big deal. And I would just say, I think that there is going to be a turnaround. It might be much slower than you would expect, but it's a turnaround, okay? Um, and we'll see if this is going to pan out. But this is your moment. You, know, you only look at those moments where there's opportunity. This is your opportunity. Now, the same thing in the S&P. I had one. Uh, way to look at the S&P this morning. Oops, not there. And then I decided to go with another way to look at the S&P. And I chose instead the Dow, that if the Dow did something, it wasn't actually the Dow, it was the short position of the Dow. If it did something, we would grab that position. My thinking was that if the SMHs are ready to come down, I really need to wait for the proof because if they make a new high and close over the new high, uh, the last high, that's kind of important. But if they fail, that's going to be important. And that would really impact the uh, SPXS. Well, look at this. SPXS still makes a lower low today. It goes down to 7.15. That's the three times short. But there's no signal other than the SPY going to an F, leg F, right at the inside track repellent zone. So even now, I don't have an, a, 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 an absolute definitive way of looking at it. And the stochastic's at 93%. So I, I'm saying there are certain factors I'm looking for for a, to, for a top to be made right here. And if, it's a, if it is a top, you'll have time to get into, the, into a short position because it should last maybe a week or two. It could be quite severe, but not if there's a rotation. 
because then I'll go into that in a moment. Now, let me show you. So here's the SPY, but look at this, RSP. RSP is the equal weight ETF of the S&P. Well, I mean, it's been fading for a little while here. It hasn't made new highs. It just did go to a leg D. This, by, by a miracle, this still is the low right here on the, uh, remember about the 29th of May, I'll give you the number I should have typed it in because I knew I'd have to refer to it. And that is at 162.68. So 162.68. And all the other lows were just above it. Look at this one here. Oh, it better be. 162.69. There it is by one penny. So that becomes peak A, peak B, peak C. And you remember what we're always looking at is... Uh, when a support level gets tested in the H pattern and holds, it's a break and a hold above the arch high. But it did another bounce. So the dreaded H went to a lowercase m. The H went to an m. And then it did another retest. So we've got almost an equal time one. And now we've had a big spike. We'll see if there's a close in the SPY and the RSP. That's equal weight ETF. Above it has to be two out of three sessions above 166.57. I'll be right back. Basil Chapman, Gaza 47. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. 
Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. So I was asked about, I, I want you to go to the gold stocks, etc. But right now I'm going to go to, uh, Dana wants you to know about SWKS. SWKS is Skyworks Solutions. And I think... I believe, unless I'm really wrong about this, I'm going to call this F slash B. There's a brand new leg up. Now, let me just read what he said. I have an in-the-money call looking to go to 115 in the next week. 115 instead of 111 is up 49 cents. So let me do a couple of things right now. I'm going to take a moment. Uh, let me go notate this A. A. Remember, this is your starting point right here. So every peak gets counted. That's the only obligation of the Chapman wave. That's an A. That's a B. And it's already gone to a C right there. Then it fails. Comes back down. And none of these are C minuses or anything because that's your starting point. So it's A, B. But now it's gone above that C. So this is actually a D. So you've gone right to the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. SWKS up 111.28, up 43 cents. It really it was a spectacular stock at some point. And then uh, back in 2022, the summer of 22, it plunges down to 80. I mean, it was once in the 200s, right? So that's an A, and that's another A right there. Now it's already in a B in the monthly chart. Okay, so you've got yourself a call. I'm going to go to 120-minute chart because that's the way I like to look at things. Uh, I'm going to go here. Uh, so I think that's your starting point. Ugh, do I take that as your start? I'll have to take it. That's what I can see. A. B. C. D. Brand new. A. Okay. I think you got yourself a good... I don't know about 150. I think you got a little aggressive there. Going to 115. I wish you had said it was 112.50. Because this is what I see right now. It's in leg C in the 120-minute chart. You see the way it's gone from the 200-period moving average as your magnet line, like a, like a seesaw, like a sine wave up and down and up and down. It keeps coming back to it. You see this break away to the upside. Well, I like to take the last cup formation, which would be from that peak D to the new uh, the leg that we're looking at right now, uh, if it's possible and to try to move, I wish I had something in Trade Station that gave me the ictus, like the pointer was stuck here. I could grab the line and just swing it up like that in an arch formation. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm looking at. Today's Wednesday. It is Wednesday at 10.33 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm, I'm anticipating that there'll be a peak, a peak C in the next, maybe in the next hour or two. And then it's the way leg D unfolds. Now I can go back to the, the daily chart. This is a 120-minute chart. Let's go back to the daily chart. Now, I don't like to grab the last move up and just say, oh, there's a one-to-one. -one. That's just the easy way to do it. I, I can tell you that, yes, it works, but I can also tell you it can really fool you. But what I would do is I'd go one-to-one -one the way I like to do it. In this case, I'll take the biggest leg up right there. And I would do this. I'd move the candle, the, the trend line, to the base of the 200-period moving average. Now I'm much more comfortable. And that says, yes, that takes me above 115. Now, because I'm always very conservative about this, I say, but wait a minute. What about this rising trend line right here? Look how perfect it is. And then it got broken to the upside. And the declining one right there. Well, in this particular pattern, that's the one that I would like to take. So now I'm going to say, look, that to me is just too, that's just too expensive, expensive and expensive. This is the one I want to take. And then I move the line up to the moving averages. And that just says that by Friday, SWKS, there's a good chance it's going to attempt, today's high is 111.69, it's going to attempt the 112. So the reason why I said 112.50, I said, I can see that as realistic. 
if this SWKS pulls back under 100, it's 110 right now, so 107, 64 is the nine period exponential moving average. If it breaks that, then 106.47 is the 14 period moving average. That still doesn't take the nine down to a pink, meaning going down below the 14. A lot would have to happen. So I love the action right now. I love the action that for the last four sessions it's been rallying, which is different to the general market. It's more like the S&P, I actually different to the Dow. And I love the fact that it got to the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart. That's a magnet. So I'm suspecting that if you're talking about a week from Friday, um, a week from Friday, I think you have a chance at 114. So here's what I'm going to say to you. Why didn't you do this? You you must be in the money right now. I would say if you have more than one, you've said you have an in the money calls. You didn't say calls. So you said, so that means you're taking a lot of risk. I would rather say to you, if at any point you can get a premium above today's premium, today's premium at the opening where it opens at 111.57, almost at the high, must have been the best premium that you've seen in the option, uh, call option, uh, at least this week. I would say if you can get above that and you're able to watch this, then watch this particular level right here. If uh, SWKS trading at 111.00, up 18 cents now, takes out today's low of 110, uh, 19. Actually, if it goes under 110, I think you, you're going to be kind of stuck. So if you're in a good profit right now, if you have more than one, I take something off right this moment and I'd let the other one just hang out and I'd say if it goes under the SWKS trades under 110, I'll be watching that really closely. But if you've only got one and you're just prepared to take the risk, I think there's enough upside. Let me just go to hack because I think this is in that area. I might be wrong. Yeah, you see, that just failed to make a new high today. Not an all-time high, but a new high. Um, hack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, let's go back to SWKS. Okay, all I can say is that it might have made the move right now and it's going to digest that move just for another couple of days. If you're able, if you have the patience, I would not like to see it, uh, SWKS trade under 110. So if you have the patience and it holds above that, give it another day or two. But if you see the premium expand above today's high of the premium of the call that you have, I'd be ready to, I'd be ready to use SWKS as my, my benchmark because I would have a trading stop based on the price. So that means it would probably have to go to 111.80. If it goes to 111.80, I'd have my finger on the button. Just, I'd have a trading mental stop. But if you can get a premium above today's premium, that's where I'd say start thinking about it. I think this market's going to become quite vulnerable, and I'll talk about that number return. Uh, Basil Chapman, Tiger, this is our thousand twenty-eight. That's down 70, and the uh, IWM is up 6.7. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? 
Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Yeah, so I, I don't usually like to do this. I always find it a little bit embarrassing. I've never been able to do it, but I'm going to try to do it now. Um, uh, just quoting someone here that said, um, By the way, great call on the money moving to IWM from the hot sectors. You know, the day is young. I got a, a, an expression when you take your hands off the wheel to pat yourself on the back, that's when you hit the tree. So all I can say is that this is something we've been monitoring for a while. Every little nook, every, every little, I mean, doing this measured move all the time saying, oh, watch it. If it doesn't break above the nine period moving average, blah, blah, blah. I needed that. That's my technique. That's what I needed. And we finally got it. So this is a work in progress. This is just the start of something. But it could be that if you weren't in in the early stages, now you have to do a little bit of chasing. But if you look at the, and I'll go to it in a minute. I'm not going to do it right now because I have a question about the S&P Select Utility Spider Fund. Uh, up uh, 99 cents at 70.47, up $1.43. I was talking about the IWM before. Yes, it's it's made this trough that was with a, in July at the uh, 67.71 uh, area. Now, let's give you the exact figure. 67.60, low, and now it's trading at 70. I like this for those of you interested in something that gives you a capital gain plus a dividend. This, to me, because of the weekly chart, the straight line move at the bottom and a beautiful channel that is trying to break out of in the daily, it's broken out of this, but it's not broken out of it in the weekly. Look at that beautiful trend. I, It's just a mystery to me. It's not really a mystery because I've tried to figure it out, and I think I've figured it out. But it's in a visual sense, it's a mystery why you can have 10 months or six weeks of, of moves to the downside, and every low is exactly on the line, and then it moves up. So let me just do this before we get to our ping that said there's a caller Look, they are. You're about to break out on the weekly chart. I like the XLU, yes. But one step at a time, the support is at 69. I think 71.65 is the area that you want to see, and quite soon. All right, let's go to our caller. I believe it's our caller. We've got, we've got, we've got Garo in Newport Beach. Garo, how are you? I'm very good. How about you, sir? I'm well, thank you. You'd like to look at? Um, that, uh if you have the time, two of them. But the first one is Riley, R-I-L-Y. Uh, I bought it yesterday at the close, uh, $17.10. And, yes. and today I close, I, I, I sold it at $18.10. I had 1,000 shares. I bought it yesterday on a daily chart when the yes. candle hit the upper dot and the dot yes. came down. I, I bought it at the close. 
1710 and, and exalted at 80. Do you think that that will cross that 21 day simple moving average and it will get to that $24 area or the party is over? So this is B. Riley Financial Inc. Um, yes. It's got a lot of work for the pink nine period moving average to get uh, to move over the black 14 period moving average. My guess just visually is that it would have to get to 19. 35. So what I'm, I, if there is a transition in the market right now with uh, the utilities starting to break out with the maybe the IWM, this is just the opening gambit. We'll see if it holds. Um, I haven't yet seen the IAI, the broker dealer index, really with Schwab and, and the others skyrocketing. So this just says to me it's a rotation through sectors. Now, if this becomes in the financial sector, um, and I had a thing about so far. I'll put this in the. I don't even know if they match, but let me see. So far, so so far has got a big move up. That so far technologies, yeah. So let me just go back to this. Uh, we're looking at Riley R I L Y. So you're out of it, but you're looking at it as if to say maybe this is something that can keep having a rally. The Eiffel Tower or the pyramid formation that is in the weekly chart where the low was on the left side at 14. 14.46 uh, on the week of the 23rd of February, it goes straight up to the 40 level and then comes back. And then last week it tested the low at 14.60. Um, that is for, uh, 14 cents higher. That's a good sign for me. So I think this has a potential to rally, but there's a lot of work to be able to make a constructive move rather than just a spike and failure. So I'm going to just say to you, if it closes under seven. 16.50 in the next three days has got a lot of work to do. But if it's able to go to, oh, even 19, it's at 17.97. If we can even touch 19 by Friday, I would, by, sorry, by Monday, that would say to me, yes, this is starting the turn. And it might be a bumpy turn, but at least it's a turn, the first decent turn that it's had in a month and a half. So, yes, I think it's, attempting it but i don't see anything yet that says that's a guarantee i think it's a work in progress and it has to hold that 16 i think i said 1630 level uh in the next two days if it breaks that that's a problem but right now it is turning up what was your second one yes sir the second one i sold the nvidia which i bought it yesterday at 130 i sold it on 135 today. good it's going back again to 130 and change. Should I go and buy it again at 130 no. or below 130 or forget about it? I would just forget about it. Let, it. let it rest. It's had a spectacular move. Even if it's just a sideways move, my thinking is that it's going to test the 127 area over the next few days, maybe going to early next week. That'll be the big thing. If it closes under 127-ish, that's going to say to me, uh-oh. Timeout has begun. Money is going to go into other sectors. I hope that helps you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank Have you very nice much day. for Thank calling. You. And you too. So, folks, now let me just do this. I, I, I did the others. Oh, I had a question as well. What was I looking at before? I did that. I did that. Oh, and the question was Queb. K-W-E-B. Queb is, is Chinese, I believe. What is Queb? It's a China Internet ETF. Um, and the question is, Oh. oh, a question from Peaky was, do I buy it or do I sell it or Queb? All right, I can't find it. Oh, Basil, Queb or buy? Yes. At 28.78, in your case, I'm saying yes, but I know that at 28.78, the 200 period moving average of 27.71, that is going to be your benchmark for support. If it breaks that, I'm going to say no. But I know that you look at the bigger picture, and I'm suspecting that this is going to attempt to move into the 29s. And if it goes, let me put it this way, if it goes to 29.33, before it goes to 20, uh, what's the low today, 28.30, before it goes to 27.90, that's the good sign. If it stalls, then it's just stalling, and I'd say, ah, uh, so what I would say to you is don't, I would not put a big, I just, you said, is it a buy? I'd say it's a tentative start because it's made a really nice peak, a pullback, 
This is what I'm saying about uh, the stock Riley that uh, uh, that uh, Garo just spoke about. It needs to prove itself in this leg B. It cannot fail because this B is where you get the arch formation. And I like the weekly chart when nine, the nine period moving average held beautifully, it did not go negative, and it's made a peak C in the weekly chart. I think at some point it will make a D, but it's a work in progress. So that's Queb. Uh, FXI, I'll go to just as we go to the break. That's the large cap China. I want to see what's happening. See, this is the same thing. Made a peak B, leg B right now. It's not quite as strong, but just say that China's coming back a little bit and that it should move higher. I'll be back. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com then hit Watch Tiger TV. I know, so we've got, uh, let me just show you, this is Rivian. It's up uh, nicely off that gap and now it's doing quite nicely in leg B, leg D in the weekly chart. But the question was, Baidu, uh, Baidu Chinese, right? Uh, Baidu is trading 102.19, up 4.25, strong leg B. Baba, Alibaba, is trading up um, 2.77. And that goes, so China says to me that if there's this rotation, maybe China's going to see a little bit of a rally here. So these Chinese stocks are not doing too badly. Baba's in leg B, same as the others. Uh, I want you to also say, look, uh, the GDX, GDX trading right now, there's that leg D, it went right through the 3787. You remember, I drew this in as left side, right side price time match. It's done that in a shorter time frame. So, leg F, I'm calling it an F in the weekly chart. Silver, uh, we've got a silver stock that's done really well. So, this is go 
take your Tiger dollars and look at all those uh, programs and things that we have on the uh, Tiger TFNN. Check out my opening call. Uh, it's some really nice moves here. And uh, we'll see if this is going to continue. So now it's leg uh, D, and I didn't get to, um, uh, to the TLT. So the TLT did break to the upside. So off that, remember the chat wave, if you subscribe to my service, you'll get all these webinars on how you can use this inside track propellant repellent zone. Look how the propellant zone went from right there in the 90 area. We we're at 93.85 in the, in the TLT. Right off that in the TBT got reversed with the same technique. Right there, look. There's that inside track uh, repellent zone. So with that said, I'm going to say the day is young. But if the Dow, I'm treating them separately. So the Dow is up 50, but it's really the IWM. IWM has, to, oh, look at that. It's up 7.57. It has made a new recovery high, not an all time high, but it's leg C. I like this action, and it's telling me that you've got to think now rotation to different sectors. Oh, KRE. That's the, uh, look at the KRE. Same thing, S&P Regional Bank, same thing as the uh, RSP, the S&P 